Now let's talk about rendering in Maya. I'm sure everyone has taken a picture before, a photographic picture before. And uh, rendering works the same way. It is simply a photographic process that snaps a picture of your 3D model. So in this case, the picture is a bitmap, but it's a similar concept to um, taking a picture with your camera. So in order to render this image, all I have to do is actually hit this button here. When I hit that button, we'll be able to um, we'll be able to render this. And um, what controls your ren your your renders is um, well, rendering is controlled by the render settings window, and we can go to it by one of the two ways. We can either click on this button. Or just go to Windows, Rendering Editors, then um, Rendering Settings. Click on that, you have all these rendering settings. Okay, and in here, um, we've got the Maya Software Renderer and all these other, um, we've got Maya Software Renderer and all these other additional renderers. Okay, and, and their parameters. So if we go to, um, if we go to uh, Maya Hardware Renderer, we we'll have um, the common settings as well as the um, the my hardware settings. Okay, if we go to mentor ray, we we'll have the common settings as well as the other additional settings in here. So let's go back to Maya software renderer. Um, in the Maya software renderer, we've got um, all these parameters. Which 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 we're gonna look at. We'll go, we'll start we'll start with um the common we'll we'll start with the common uh, parameters. The, let me just explain the, um what they are. We've got the, um we've got our color management, which is pretty much um color management, and um, after color management, we've got the file output. With the file output, um. It's um, in the first bit. It says file name prefix. Okay. So in this case, we're gonna use the um, the scene name, which will be uh, tutorial one. Okay. Now after that bit, or you can um, you can actually put in your um, your prefix, whatever prefix you want, like maybe uh, red and blue ball or whatever you want. So, but uh, right now we leave it at default, which is uh, tutorial one. Um, after that, we've got uh, we've got the image format. We've got all these different um, different image formats. We've got um, uh, GIF, JPG. We've got the Maya IFF, and we've got the 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 Targa. Okay, so I'll just leave it at Targa. Then you've got the um, frame animation exit. At the moment, this is not an animation; it's just a frame. Okay, so we'll just um, it's it's just a frame, so it's not really important. It will probably be as a single frame, which is um, the default. Okay, which is uh, pretty much the default. But if you've got a, if you're doing an animation, you probably want to um, choose uh, one of these with an extension and a number. Okay. So you've got all these different uh, formats of how you um, want your images, your, your uh, image sequence to be named. So let's say if we click on this one, if if I choose that one, we um, we're gonna have the name. When, when your uh, file render, when, when your files render, we're gonna have the name. If if okay, in this case, if this was an animation, we'll probably have and there will probably have the name. Which will be tutorial number one, number which will be number one, plus extension which will be TGA. All right, extension is the image format, and we've got the frame padding. If we pick up the frames, if we take up the frames, look at the numbers there. You have three zeros in there. If we take it up to four, uh, four or five zeros, you end up having five zeros in there. Okay. That's what um, frame padding is for, and um, if we look at the frame range, you can um, you can set 
you can set wherever you want your frames um, you can set wherever you, you you want your frames to start and end okay so let's say you want to render from frame 1 to 10 you can say that you can set it from frame 1 to 10 and if you want to render every frame by frame frame by frame it will be frame by frame if you wanna uh, every second frame you, you you can set it to every second frame or whatever you want so that's how that works and you also have the ability to renumber frames so um, yeah you can also renumber the frames so if you re if you if you are rendering in a in a, in the middle of a sequence and you still want the first frame to be called frame one you can do that on here by clicking on here and uh, renumber the frames okay so let's say um yeah that's that's the best way I can uh, explain this and uh, renderable cameras renderable cameras it's uh it's like w when you working with your window imagine this bad boy is not here and um you're rendering yeah i don't want to close it but anyway if you if this bad boy is not it wasn't here and you click on the space key on your keyboard you have the perspective view you've got the top view and you've got the side and front view that's sort of what this is okay um that's what this is so um renderable cameras if you've got cameras in your um in your in your scene like right now i'll probably leave it on perspective because it's an animation so on the perspective uh, the perspective view otherwise if i just want a snapshot of uh whatever i'm doing i'll probably leave it on front side top or whatever it is that i want but because we've got if we've got cameras in our view it's it's um it just makes sense to leave it on perspective all right image size these are just normal attributes you've got your um you've got your custom size you can customize it to whatever you want to customize it to or you can customize it to whatever you want to customize it to or you, you've got all these uh, ntsc you've got uh, a4 b3 whatever you've got all these different um file presets and you've got your 1080 HD, uh, 1080 HD, HD 1080, whatever you want to call it. And on top of that, well, we still have the width, height of um, what we want it to be. So yeah, customize it. Um, resolution is another thing. You can uh, you can ramp it up. You can ramp up the resolution. It's all it's entirely up to you. Resolution units, pixel inch, the p or pixel uh, centimeters. It's up to you. Render options. If we look at the uh, render options, you you've got the um you've got the option of actually loading your script before and after it renders. So yeah, I will teach you more about um uh, mail scripts as uh, we advance. If we look at us, uh, Maya software renderer, it's got its own attributes as well as um it's got its own attributes in addition to the common attributes so if you've got if you if we look at the anti-aliasing um, quality <coughs> pardon me guys one thing about me is um you i might pronounce pronounce words differently because uh well my accent so you just have to um bear with me on that one yeah anti-aliasing Aliasing quality. You've got your quality right now. It's um, on preview quality. Okay, preview quality means your image will be will be rough. It's it's a low quality, but I like it because it renders quick, and it's just convenient. It's just quick and uh, convenient. But if you um, take it up to production quality, it takes forever. Okay. It um, production quality takes forever, but it increases the amount of uh, of your anti-aliasing and uh, so on and so forth. So let's take it back to um, <clears throat> production quality. Ah, oh, sorry, preview quality. That way we don't have to mess around with all these mess around with all these other attributes. Anyway, we've got um, field options. 
these are just um, uh, field options. If you're rendering NTSC, you can <coughs> you can use the field options. Right now, we're not rendering the NTSC, so yep, we'll leave it the way it is. Okay, that's field options. You only have to worry about field options if you're rendering NTSC. All right. Now we've got um, after field options, we've got the ray tracing quality. Let me turn this off first and um, render this. Look, um, let me bring it closer. Look at these balls, okay? The blue and the red. Look how the, you can see the reflection of the blue on here. You can see the reflection of the red on here. You can just see the balls and the shadows. All right, what ray tracing does, it adds reflection to our scene. Okay, let me show you what that means. If we um, activate ray tracing, as you can see, it's got reflection. You can ramp it up or ramp it down. You've got the refraction, you've got the shadows, you've got all these attributes that you can you can play around with. So now that we've um, actually activated the uh, ray tracing and render this, you see the difference. See that you can you can actually see that it's shining. This one is shining on that, and that one is shining on this. You know, like there's that mirror image, mirror reflection reflection thing going on in here. So, yep, that's uh, what ray tracing does. Motion blur is um, well, it's motion blur. <laughs> yeah, yeah, motion blur is just uh, motion blur, and you've got all these other um, attributes that are <clears throat> just uh, self-explanatory. All these are self-explanatory. Um, so, guys, um, yep, that's uh, that's it about um, my uh, software renderer. Now, let's go ahead and uh, learn more on my software renderer. So, yep, if you haven't subscribed, please do. That way, you um. You, you that way you get the tutorials when I release them when I make them so yep see you in the next tutorial guys and thanks for watching